What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, we'll be running through some solutions for when Fortnite isn't starting up properly, it's crashing on launch and things like that. By the end of this, hopefully you'll be able to hop right back into the game. Currently it's Chapter 3 Season 2, but of course this will work for pretty much all future episodes and versions of Fortnite as well. So, first of all, make sure that you have Epic Games and Fortnite closed completely. You can open up the Task Manager with Control Shift and Escape and make sure that it's completely closed out, not appearing on this list at all on the Processes tab. Of course, my Task Manager may look different to yours as I'm using an Insider build, a beta build of Windows 11. Now that we've made sure that it's closed completely, let's try running Fortnite as administrator. Simply open up where the game is installed, but unfortunately there isn't a super easy way to get you other than searching for say Fortnite Launcher on your C drive, D drive, E drive, whatever drive you have Fortnite installed on. There isn't a super simple way of getting here unfortunately. Use the search in the top right. Mine is installed in this location here. D Games, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64 and we have these four EXE files here. Fortnite Client, Win64 Shipping, BE and EAC as well as Fortnite Launcher.exe. What we're going to do is right click the largest of these, Shipping.exe and click Properties. Then inside of here, head across to the Compatibility tab and make sure that you have Run as Administrator ticked. Click Apply, OK and try to launch up Fortnite. If it crashes or won't launch, head back to this menu here and choose Run this program in Compatibility mode and select Windows 7. Then click apply and OK once more. Hopefully now the game will work upon the next launch. If it doesn't and or you receive some kind of an error for Easy Anti-Cheat, we'll scroll up in the same exact folder and we'll head into the Easy Anti-Cheat folder here. This is located for me in eGames, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, Easy Anti-Cheat. When we're inside of this folder here, look for Easy Anti-Cheat Setup.exe and simply right click then choose Run as Administrator. We'll be repairing Easy Anti-Cheat on our computer. Simply leave it as whatever it has selected here, whether it's current game 217 or whatever it is, or Fortnite, and simply click Repair Service. If you see Install, however, that simply means that Easy Anti-Cheat isn't currently installed, and by installing it, we'll have fixed this issue completely. Super simple. If things still aren't working properly and you're not able to start up your game, very quickly, either make sure that you have played the game before on your current computer, or that you meet the minimum requirements if you're trying to run it on a new setup. While it may sound stupid, it's an incredibly popular game that many people try and run on very underpowered hardware. Past a certain point, the game isn't able to start up properly at all, and of course with newer updates, new features may be required, and that could stop much older hardware from working properly all the time into future updates as well. So minimum updates may change over time. On top of this, if the game previously worked, but now after a game update it doesn't work anymore, make sure that your NVIDIA drivers, AMD drivers or Intel graphics drivers are all up to date as well as Windows itself. You can do this by either heading across to your vendor's website and downloading the latest graphics drivers from them and installing them, or if you have software on your computer such as NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you're able to update your graphics driver directly through that instead. If things still aren't working properly, try and make sure that you have third-party overlays disabled, whether it be Discord, Steam, etc, etc. Anything that hooks into the game could be causing it to crash. Finally, the longest part of this tutorial, let's actually try and verify the game files. This will run through all of the files on your computer for Fortnite and make sure that they're all correct and download or fix anything that could be saved weirdly on your computer. Open up Epic Games, then head into Library, and search for Fortnite. Click the three dots under Fortnite and choose Verify. Upon clicking this, you'll see the Download tab appears and you're able to monitor how far the game has verified itself. Depending on the speed of your hard drive or SSD, this could take quite a while to complete, but when it's done, try and launch the game to see if it works properly. Then finally, if the game's still not working, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and you have NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed, we can try and lower the game settings without needing to launch it in the first place. I'll open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience by searching for GeForce Experience. Inside of here, we'll be searching for Fortnite. Then once you see it, we'll click Details instead of Launch. We'll wait for it to load. Then when it does eventually load, you should be able to change graphics settings for the game. 
Unfortunately, this isn't showing for me currently. I'll try and see if I can re-record this a bit later. But essentially, you'll go into the optimization screen, you'll lower the slider to lower the graphics settings on your computer, and you'll try to select windowed mode instead of full screen. Don't worry, when we actually launch the game itself and it works properly, we can then change it back to full screen and see if that could be the cause of the issue, as on some people's computer, that is. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!